Okay, I'm recording this for a friend, um, but I figured I might post it on Facebook if anybody else wants to know. Um, I'm just basically showing him why he needs to get a Chromecast. Um, if you guys know what XBMC is, um, you probably are pretty familiar with this. Um, but if not, this is something that uh, me and my girlfriend um, have grown to like a lot. And so I figured I'd share with you guys. Anyways, um, so... Uh, you can basically run uh, XBMC on any Android device, um, so you can watch movies or TV shows. But the cool thing about Chromecast is you could actually cast it to your TV and watch it on your big screen. So I've already linked up my uh, Android device. I have a Nexus 7, and um, it's already linked up, as you can see. Uh, my phone needs to fast. There we go. There we go. Okay. Um, it doesn't focus as quick as it should. Anyways, so, anyways, I use a VIA. It's a VIA, I don't know, it's A-V-I-A. Um, and it's not, there it is. So if you tap on a VIA, there's an option for Chromecast right here. And then, as you can see, I'm already linked to it. If you're not linked, it'll actually give you an option to sync to it or cast it. Um, but as you can see, I'm already going... So next thing I'm going to do is get out of there and go into XBMC and it's right there. Just tap on that and I'm into XBMC and I'm going to go into my add-ons that I like to use. If it'll actually go, there it goes. Um, there's tons of options that you have, but I tend to go and use a particular one. It's called Simply Movies. If it'll, come on, there we go. Just tap on something to hurry up and show you guys. We'll do action. Then what do we want? Let's do Hunger Games because I know that one works. And as soon as you start loading the movie, if you have it connected to a VIA, it'll actually start buffering on your TV. And as you can see in the bottom right corner, it actually is starting to show the time. And then there you go. It displays it in 720 or 1080, uh, depending on the video that's being displayed. Um, but this program has the ability to pause it or play it if you want, so you can pause it. Um, you can also turn down the volume on the Android device, and it'll actually turn down the volume on the TV. So. But there you go. And then that's what it looks like on the TV. It doesn't actually show the it doesn't actually display the video on the Android device because you're casting it on the TV. But once again, there you go. Thanks.